Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Hey everyone, welcome back to another high quality foodie feature for you here on the channel, Cheaters Cam Style. After hours at Popeyes to go in in a long overdue sweet treat that looks perfectly suited to their brand, but I gotta be honest guys, I'm a little concerned by what I've got here right now. That's right, it's their all new chocolate beignets and already in the appearance department, I am very underwhelmed. What this is supposed to be is basically a French pastry with melted Hershey's chocolate on the inside and then topped off with powdered sugar. But as you can see, I've got very little of that. And honestly, the appearance is very unappealing actually. Very, very small and it definitely looks fried, but I am not feeling the overall texture of what I've got here right now, guys. It looks a little over fried and honestly, not too big at all. Now granted, I know it's the fast food version of what these are supposed to be, but even still, guys, they could be a little bit bigger than what I've got here. These look like really glorified nuggets, I gotta be honest, but let's see if the flavor is gonna deliver on them. It's the all new chocolate beignets here at Popeyes. Let's peep out this flavor. Well, as you heard me say at the top of this one, beignets are pretty much, I think, synonymous with Popeyes. When you think about who's gonna be serving something like this, of course it's gonna be Popeyes, naturally New Orleans, Louisiana. These are very popular down over there, but honestly, guys, this really looks like an overfried nugget, and that's pretty much it. Hardly any powdered sugar, and it is very, very small. I guess the main thing with this one is they're selling on the Hershey's chocolate being on the inside, but even still, that appearance already doesn't look like a beignet that I'm used to, and I gotta be honest, these have to be lit up with powdered sugar. They have to be to really be considered legit, in my opinion. So let me see if hopefully these are at least gonna be legit in the flavor department, because on the surface, this doesn't feel like a beignet, but let's give it a shot. It is not a beignet, but it's tasty. I mean, it's a fried piece of dough synonymous with an English fritter, but the French variant naturally beignet actually sounds pretty nice. But as you can see on the inside, guys, it does have the Hershey's chocolate. It's actually okay. The sweetness is not too bad. I am just not feeling the overall texture on this whatsoever. This is definitely over fried and the appearance is giving it away big time. It's really okay in the flavor department. Very light, light powdered sugar in the very top of this is what I got with there in the first bite, but very, very underwhelmed so far as I'm trying to keep the focus with the lighting here. So far guys, like I said, underwhelming, but you know what? It is what it is. It's a fast food beignet. Let's just keep going in. Mm. The Hershey's chocolate is not bad, but this is not worth the hype. I gotta be honest, it really isn't. I mean, maybe it's because I've actually had some really, really tasty beignets here in Southern California. Actually, if you wanna see what a real beignet looks like, take a look at the review popping up on your screen here right now from the Jazz Kitchen Express. I did that at Disneyland in downtown Disney a while back. That was pretty amazing, and that's gonna give you the real authentic look on what a beignet is, at least in the size department. But when it comes to this, I mean, three of these for 240, I mean, guys, this really is kind of expensive. And uh, I'm really, like I said, I'm really very underwhelmed, very disappointed. I was really hoping this was gonna be good. It really could have been saved if it had just a little bit more powdered sugar. But guys, look at this, there is nothing on it. It's overly fried and it's got some Hershey's goodness on the inside, that's about it. Let's go for one more bite and we'll close this one out. But so far guys, like I said, super underwhelming. What are you gonna do? Well, what I can do is give you one more look at this here. And as you can see, they really couldn't spare any powdered sugar for me, guys. This is really, really sad. I am really, 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 really disappointed. Can you tell? This could have been so much better. If not, if they were just a little bit bigger, that'd be fine. But if they had more powdered sugar and if they weren't fried as much, I think it would have been even better. But guys, so far, super underwhelming. And like I said, three for 240. You can do six, you can do 12. Start off with the three and see how you do. But honestly, guys, I won't be getting these again. This is really not great. Well, you know, they can all be winners. And naturally, when I go into my reviews, I really do hope for the best, but I gotta give you the honest opinion of what I've got going here, guys. And as you can probably see with that, that is definitely not worth the time. Sorry, Popeyes, this time out, I'm gonna have to give you a chocolate beignets, a pretty lackluster four out of 10. And that's actually being very, very nice about it right now, because like I said, the Hershey's cocoa goodness on the inside is decent, and the fried texture is just okay, but guys, it's overly fried, there's no powdered sugar, and it really needs to be just a little bit bigger. I mean, for a fast food beignet, you could have done so much better with these, and I'm really surprised that they don't look like the picture. This really doesn't look like the picture tonight. What can you do, guys? What can you do? Well, what you can possibly do is drop some comments down below. Let me know if you're excited to give these a shot. And if you've had them already, did you have a better experience than I did? Because like I said, that is completely lackluster and I'm very, very disappointed. I'm gonna have to get back on over to the Jazz Kitchen Express over at Downtown Disney and get the real deal. That's all I have to say. But drop some comments down below. Let me know what you thought of these. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, Cheaters Cam Style. After hours bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So stay tuned for the next review coming real soon.
In the meantime, stay frosty. I'm not gonna hold this one too much against you, Popeyes, because of all the dessert reviews I've done in the past, I've thoroughly enjoyed what I've checked out. This, however, definitely room for improvement. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.